Hey, hey, uh, beautiful people out there, my name is Dr. Terry Bright, founder and pastor of the Wellness Cross Ministry. This is my wife, Dr. Terry Bright, founder and pastor of the Wellness Cross Ministry. We are today going to teach you by the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Understanding. Thank you. So get your Bible and follow us, hallelujah, because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, forever, hallelujah. What is understanding anyway? You want to tell what understanding is? Uh, understanding is uh, the Lord gives you discernment on how to choose right from wrong in a situation. He gives you, uh, allows you to choose what option to, to take in that situation. Amen. Amen. Praise the living God. Okay, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. Please. Isaiah 11, verse 2 reads, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and might, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So understanding, we are talking about is not human understanding. It's the Holy Spirit understanding. The Father God is the source of all understanding. Jesus Christ is the word of understanding. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of understanding. We the believers, we are the receiver of God's understanding so we can jump any hair, any pitfall, the enemy said before. That individual in the mighty emotion. So let's read it Psalm 119, verse 27, verse 33, and verse 35. Psalm 119, verse 27, and verse 33 to 35. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. You understand this day because you can get revelation knowledge of God, but if you don't have understanding of it, you become a mess. Psalm 119, verse 27. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. So who does God make to understand the world's precepts? Those who are humble. If you are proud, you are you are your own understanding. I was a trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. He shall direct your path. Amen. So when we when God makes us to go in the way of understanding, we yield, we surrender our members, our being to Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And verse 33 to 35, please. Okay, Psalm 119, verse 33. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. <clears throat> Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. So God only does He make us to go the way of understanding. He also gives us understanding. How can we receive understanding unless we humble ourselves before Him and for, forsake our own understanding and go His understanding? Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. See, God gives the um, divine enablement to understand His word, but we have to depend on the Holy Spirit. Amen. We can't lean on. It says uh, Proverbs uh, chapter three says, "Lean not on your own understanding." And uh, if you lean on your own understanding, you can always make a mistake. But if you have God's understanding, the Holy Spirit will give you that understanding when you call upon Him and ask Him for help. People who are humble will ask for the understanding. The people who are proudful will not ask for God's help. And therefore, they won't understand the scriptures and they won't be rightly divided so they can get into error. Amen. Amen. So when we walk in understanding, we can, we can avoid errors, we can avoid mistakes, we can avoid pitfalls. Because his understanding reveals to us the way we go about things and then we which way he reveals to the individual who is humble, who is teachable. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So let's read in the Lord in Second Timothy chapter two, verse seven, we read that the Lord gives us understanding in all things and we seek him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Colossians chapter one, verses nine and ten. We need spiritual understanding and work in order to fulfill all God put on earth for. Without that, you cannot be and do everything God Christ called us to do. Colossians 1 verse 9. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, did not cease to pray for you, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will, and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So here we see what it says similar to what it says in Isaiah uh, 11 chapter 2, verse 2, excuse me. So, understanding is very key. Having, having the wisdom of God, having the knowledge of God, having this understanding is like a three pro which you can secure your faith on. The faith of God is in you. The understanding of God gives us which scripture to use. Well, when amen. to use the scripture. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's how we can cooperate with Him 
we have this understanding Amen. in a manner, then we know how to cooperate. If you don't do it, you know, won't know how to cooperate. See? So, the importance of walking in the understanding of God is very key this last days and the royal. But right now, before you can walk in the understanding of God, you have to be born again in order to receive Christ. Okay, let's pray. If you could pray this prayer to me, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I ask you right now. I ask you right now. To forgive me for all my sins. To forgive all my sins. I believe. I believe. That you died on the cross. That you died on the cross. And that you rose again. And you rose again. On the third day. On the third day. And right now. And right now. I receive you. I receive you. Into my heart. Into my heart. Save me. Save me. And make me your child. And make me your child. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving for me. For healing me. For healing and me. And delivering me. And delivering me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now that you are in Christ now, do you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Our prayer is to be filled. Okay. Father God, in my name, Jesus, we pray right now. Every person in the viewing listening audience, be baptized afresh. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you up and baptize you afresh through the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and you ask Him to fill you up overflowingly with His presence, with His power, with His glory, and He'll manifest Himself by you speaking in other tongues. Amen. Amen. Now, if you are sick, we want to pray for you. Put your hand where you're hurting. Amen. Thank you. We are not the healer. Jesus Christ the healer. Hallelujah. He sent his word and healed them, delivered from the destruction. Jesus also told the centurion. Centurion said, You don't have to come to my home. Just send your word only. Myself will be healed. We want to send the word of God to our dear audience to be made whole. We bind every single family to let go of our yes. audience in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak peace to your spirit, peace to your nerves, peace to your body. We break any oppressive spirit. Every lying spirit will land to the whose land to our audience is destroyed in the mighty name of your speak Peace and health and tranquility in the name of Jesus. Father, the Lord is healing someone and we are praise the living God. You have uh, you have been bleeding excessively. Christ is healing you right now by the blood of Jesus. Christ is healing someone with growth in the body, in your name is May the Lord's healing growth in your body and remove the growth. Go and check. Go and check. You see the growth is disappeared by the power of the blood of Christ. And there's someone that Lord told me has a swollen right foot. The Lord is healing your foot right now. Stop on to do anything you couldn't do on your foot before, and God will uh, show reveal Himself to you that you've healed it in Jesus' name. The Lord's healing someone is restoring your kneecap. Both of your kneecap has been removed. Christ is healing you right now. Restore kneecap. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your name is James. James. Because healing with James, believe. Touch your neck up. You find that it's restored by the blood of Jesus. Christ is healing someone with ear problem. Your ear loss has been removed. Christ is restoring ear loss to you. Check it out. You find out this is a great miracle by the power of the blood of Christ. God speak to you. Thank you, Lord. Um, the Holy Spirit says there's many that have cancer in our listening and viewing audience. The Lord's healing you and delivering you from the cancer right now. Amen. And the Lord perform many miracles in our audience which you don't have time to say everything Christ is doing. Reach out, start doing anything you couldn't do before. There's someone you're walking on a walker. Thank God's healing you. Your name is Cindy. Cindy, get up and be made whole in the name of Jesus. God's healing someone has a Lord have a problem. Your name is Lily. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Christ is healing someone has a Lord. Your knee, your 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 hip is being replaced. Christ is restoring health and wholeness to you. Your name is Stacy. Be made whole in Jesus' name. God speaking to you. Amen. The Lord said that there is someone that had measles. And uh, the Lord's healing you from those measles. He had them. He got them as you're older. Amen. 